Okay, so this is part two. We're gonna basically build this page and make it look nice and pretty. So let's take this file, file, and save it as version two. So I'm gonna take index, and I'm gonna say index underscore version two. So that was our first page. Notice it keeps the first page up here. Here's the second version of the page. Okay, so the last first video, we were talking about how things are tagged, how things are tagged. So as an example, this is tagged with an H1 tag. This is tagged with an H2 tag. This is tagged with a paragraph tag. So there's a lot of different types of tags that I can use in my HTML design. I can tag images, IMG. I can tag video, the IDEO. I can tag paragraphs, P for paragraph, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the other thing we could do with our tags is we can style our content. So as an example, say we want to emphasize the word first. I can double click first, double click my mouse, come down here to my property palette, and I can click beat for bold. Now, what that does, by clicking beat for bold, that tagged this word with a strong tag, strong. So if I look at my code again for a second, you'll see it's surrounded with a strong tag opening strong tag, closing strong tag, okay? So let's say I want to undo that. So edit menu, undo command Z, command Z, undoes control Z for Windows. Let's say I want to emphasize my first web page. I'm going to select my first, then come down here and hit B for bold, okay? So that those two words are now tagged with strong, okay? Okay, so they're tagged with strong. I want to make a web page, web page italicized. So I can down my property palette and I can say italic. So what that did, that tagged it with the emphasis tag, E-M, E-M for emphasis. So if you go to code mode, you'll see E-M is surrounded, web page is surrounded by E-M tag. Again, we're not gonna write code. I want you to comprehend what the code does. The code talks the content. The code, very important step here, guys. The code simply is telling the browsers how to format the content. Content could be text, content could be images, content could be a quick type movie, content could be a flash, a swift file, etc. etc. So this is doing nothing more than talking, formatting the content with tags. So everything's inside the body tag. To demonstrate that, I'm going to select the body tag. That's going to select everything on the page. Everything on the page is in the body tag. Okay? So everything on the page is in the body tag. Here's the H2 tag because that's where my cursor is. If I put my cursor here, then I'm inside the H1 tag. If I put my cursor here, now I'm inside the paragraph tag. Okay? Good have to get into it as you can make changes, save changes. Command S. Macintosh, control S for Windows. Make changes, save changes. In case your cat or dog or a hamster or a pet raccoon run over your keyboard, you don't want to push your work. So make a change, save a change. So, so far, is it making sense to you? This is nothing more than content on the page that we format the content on the page inside of tags, tags that the browsers understand. The browser knows how to tag, I'm sorry, you as the web developer, web designer, tag the content, therefore the browser reads the content and knows what kind of tag it is. Okay, so again, I'm going to make this very enjoyable, very simple. So let's move forward here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to delete all the content. I'm going to select the body tag and I'm going to hit the delete key. So that content is now gone. Now. I want to talk to you about div tag, a div tag, just like a body tag or an h1 tag or a paragraph tag. It's simply another tag that HTML deals with. Now, div tag is basically deals for, stands for division. It's the vision of the site. So, as an example, I'm going to click web browser here for a second. And instead of Google, I'm going to go to Yahoo. So here's a typical web page. And why did that happen? 
Did I do something in a previous class here? There it goes. Okay. Okay. Now, very important step here. Okay. Not you're not supposed to look at Katy Perry. This instructional video has nothing to do with Katy Perry. So guys, take your eyes off Katy Perry. Okay. Keith Oberman fired. Instant. Oh, that's important. Okay. Now I want to talk to you about this particular site. Okay. Up here on the top here, this is a div tag that we can call branding. Now div tags have IDs. The IDs are totally made up. They can be whatever you want them to be. So as an example, we're going to create a simple web page that has a branding tag up on top, branding div tag with an ID called branding. Over here to the left, this could be site tag div tag. This will be main content div tag. This will be news and events div tag or whatever you want to call that. Div tags are totally, totally made up. Whatever you choose to call the tag, that's what you call it. So as an example, a div tag has an ID, ID branding, ID site net, ID Al Pacino, ID Katy Perry. Okay, so you can give the div tag anything you want. In fact, let's go back to Dreamweaver for a second. We can ID any tag. We can ID a paragraph tag and call it my first paragraph. We can ID a header tag and call it my second header tag. ID properties are down here which we'll talk about later on. So here's our objective here. We want to type in the name of our tags, the name of our tags, the ID tags for our div tags. So we're going to get started here by simply typing in the name of our page sections. We're going to have different sections for a page. We're going to have a top section, which is going to be branding with a logo and the catchphrase goes. Then we're going to have a site navigation. Then we're going to have main content then we'll have something like a news bar or advertising. So how do we do this? Very, very simple step here. Okay. So again, we have nothing on the page here. Everything on the page is totally gone. In some like code mode, uh, nothing but the basic HTML file. Okay. So here we go. This is so simple. If you follow these exact directions, you will be able to create and design a website totally from scratch. So. We're going to type in the word branding, B-R-A-N-D-I-N-G, spacebar. That's our first div ID tag. That's going to be our first ID tag for a div tag. Okay. Second is going to be site nav. So we're going to type in site nav. Now, protocol dictates that you can put spaces inside of your div tags. You can call div tag ID site space nav. So you do what's called camel casing. Camel casing basically capitalizes second, third, fourth, fifth words. As an example, if I was to have a div tag called my branding tag, I would capitalize B and T. You don't capitalize the first letter. Again, this is just a visual thing. It's not a necessary thing. It's just what I can see. It says site nav and that's an av. So it's branding site nav. Again, it's branding site nav and spacebar. So next one's going to be main content spacebar followed by news bar spacebar followed by footer. So these are going to be the names of our division tags, ID tags. It's all going to be div tags, div tags, div tag div tag, but they're going to have a unique ID, therefore I can talk to them separately. Okay, so here's how we do this very, very simply. We're going to double click the branding text because that's what we're going to ID our div tag to be. Copy, command C, copy, control C. Sorry guys, I live in New York City, I have the windows closed, but uh, I get horns outside, sorry about that. So copy, command C, or Edit, copy, control, copy for Windows. Okay, we're going to come up here to the Layout tab. We're going to click the first icon that says Insert Div Tag, Insert Division Tag. We're going to click that. Based on these choices, Dreamweaver Dream needs to know, or Dreamweaver knows by default, to wrap around selection. That's already selected for it. The only thing you have to do is paste the ID name. The ID for this particular tag which happens to be a div tag, a div tag, 
Dreamweaver is going to insert a div tag and call it branding. We're going to hit OK. So this section right here represents our branding tag. How cool is that? Very simply done. Okay. Next to site nav. Okay. We're going to double click site nav. We're going to copy that command C or edit copy. Now, why am I copying and pasting? I don't want typos. That's the name of my tag. I already typed it in once, so why do I have to type it again? I don't. I can just copy, paste. I'm going to copy that, come up here to insert div tag, and I'm going to paste. Double click main content, copy, come up here to insert div tag, insert div tag, ID section, paste. Okay. Double click news bar, copy, come up here, insert div tag, and paste. Double click footer, copy, come up here, insert div tag, and paste. Okay, so very important step here, guys. We have our five div tag with ID branding, ID site now, ID main content, ID news bar, ID footer. This is going to be the layout for our new website. Now, we haven't created what's called CSS. Cascading style sheet rules. We haven't applied rules our div tag. We'll do that next video. But I just want to share with you something very important. It wrote the code for us. All I needed to do was come up here, click a few icons, copy and paste, and I created these one, two, three, four, five div tags. This is a div tag, div tag, div tag starts here, div tag ends here, div tag starts here, div tag ends there. Okay, so this is the branding div tag. This is the site nav div, div tag. This is the main content div tag as far as ID. We can call this anything we want to. We can call this the Sherlock Holmes div tag and the Miami Vice div tag. Now, would that make much sense? No. So we're going to call the div tags what they contain, not where they're located. So I don't want to create something called my left div because what happens if it has to move to the right? And I'm not going to call something my top div because what if it needs to move to the bottom? So call your div tags ID what they contain. Contains brand information, the logo, the catchphrase, the phone number. Contains site navigation. Contains main content. Contains news bar information. Contains the footer of our site. So that's the content ID. Div tag ID will continue in the next video. So stay tuned.